It's another significant month for you, Libra. It's actually November 2022. I'm Dedici from astrology.com.au. And we can zoom straight in here onto this second house to show you exactly where a lot of the action is astrologically this month for you, in particular this second house. A lot of activity around your finances, plenty of uh, opportunities to earn money, <coughs> to make gains, to be profitable. Mercury and the Sun both lend themselves to good luck in financial matters, luck with social affairs as a result of the Sun ruling this 11th house, Mercury ruling the 9th house. Mercury also rules the 12th house. So you have to be careful how you spend your money. That caution is shown by the transit of Saturn in your speculative 5th house right now in direct motion. Maybe some type of work you plan to do uh, has been put on hold now as a result of the retrograde Mars. But it still seems to be more of a financial focus this month, as you can see on the 8th, with that full moon lunar eclipse triggering all of this second house activity, the way you earn money. You know you can earn money by cutting overhead. That could be what this eighth house transit is all about. The moon there close to Uranus. There could be some unexpected twists and turns in uh, your finances on that financial path. And maybe some types of disputes are looming as that eclipse moon moves to the conjunction of Mars here in the legal ninth house of your horoscope around the 11th. This focus on the finances changes considerably after the 17th. Venus will move into the third house of communications, contracts, all sorts of negotiations are governed by this area of the horoscope. Mercury in the Sun will also follow into this area and it shows that perhaps in the initial stages of the month, you've got lots of ideas. Sometimes those ideas are just harebrained schemes. Formalizing that is the job of this third house. If you're able to conduct yourself with refined communication, look carefully at the motives of others, then you'll see that this transit here will work very nicely for you. It is a predominant focus because Venus is the ruler of your sun sign. And so travels, communication, lots of studies, books, entertainment is also to some extent ruled by this third house of your horoscope. Mercury makes a dash to join Venus here. And on the 22nd, the sun will also bring its weight to bear upon these two planets. Now these are nice planets. This is a good conjunction of planets. Generally shows happiness in this area. And so you'll be enjoying your time traveling, meeting others and communicating your ideas and your plans, which is essential to make all of this financial stuff happen. And that's going to be more pronounced as well when you see what happens on the 24th, on the 22nd, as I said, the sun moves to Sagittarius. And then we have the new moon, which ushers in new opportunities and new style in communication. The way you're going to deal with other people will be strongly underpinned by this. Here it is, the new moon in this third house of Sagittarius. So these are all great aspects. If we look further on here, we see that on the 24th as well, this planet Jupiter, which has governance over your debts and also over this communication area, moves into its direct motion after being retrograde for some time. This is significant because we see the preponderance of planets in this third house. Well, Jupiter, the ruler of this area, also getting ready to exit from this place of debts 
and liabilities and enemies and sickness. These sorts of areas are governed by Jupiter. And while it was retrograde, you may have been doing a lot of rethinking about these parts of your life to get everything back in order. So that's it for the month of November. But there's more there at astrology.com.au if you want to get a little bit more detail on what I've just said. I skim over the surface usually in five or six minutes just to give you a broad based idea of what's happening for you in the coming month. Do subscribe. It helps. It helps us. It helps you to get notified. And uh, if you need any help, you know where I am. You can just drop me a line. I'll see you next month. Same time, same channel. Good luck there. Bye-bye.